Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's, uh, I think it really depends on the organization and where in the world they are as well. Of course, like the last year has just, everything has been about COVID really. And I think the, the perspectives or the, the priorities have changed as, as we've gone through the, the whole process of, of COVID. At the beginning, it was a case of trying to understand what to do. You know, there was sort of like, you know, different stages of the whole process. And, and the first one was really just kind of getting, getting a grip on it and saying, right, we need to pivot. We're probably not really sure how we need to pivot, but we need to. And we saw a lot of organizations try to do things like, you know, help in the process, help the government in dealing with the, with the, with the virus. You know, we saw like BrewDog now currently is, is making their, or trying to make their, their pubs available to, to use them for as vaccine centers. And they made hand gel at the beginning for, you know, to, so that people could, because it was a shortage of hand gel and stuff like that. But I think what the challenge was, was knowing whether or not you should be playing in those areas as well. You know, it's, it's kind of easy to go, oh, this is a good space for us to be in. You know, it, uh, we can help in some way by doing this, you know, or that, but it's kind of a question of whether or not you should be playing in that area. You know, like while it made sense for BrewDog to make hand gel because they, they deal with alcohol, the, the hand gel they did make wasn't good enough. It, it, it didn't reach the, the standards that was needed by the NHS and was wasted. You know, and we've seen that sort of similar, so, sort of similar stuff happen even before COVID. You know, I mean, everybody remembers the the, the Pepsi ad with um, I think her name was I can't remember her name. One of the Kardashian sisters, I think it was, and it, it completely backfired on the brand. You know, because it was because it just didn't make sense for the brand to be playing in that space. Like they they're, they're not they're not an authority there. They don't belong there, and trying to force their way into that conversation doesn't make any sense. And I think that's kind of where the conversation has sort of continued in that it's been around like does you know does it make sense for us based on our purpose and our values to be in this conversation mm -hmm. or when it hits COVID does it make sense for us to be moving into this space and trying to help in this way you know one of the things that we realized from you know when COVID kicked in was that we're, we're not in the we're not a company that is going to save people's lives during COVID but we can help companies that do you know, um, and that that was where we saw ourselves sitting within the process or sitting within the whole um, in the whole position of, of, of COVID. And I think that's it's really important to recognize that sometimes you're not in a position to help. And if you're trying to force your way into that conversation or trying to shout from the rooftops and get people to look at you, you're creating noise and, and it's not helping to solve the problem. You're actually creating a problem. Mm. Um, so I think that was a big, big theme at the beginning of the whole of COVID was just finding your place in the world and knowing what you should do and what you shouldn't do and knowing where you should or shouldn't play. Uh, and I think as it progressed, then people started to try and figure out things like, right, now that we have this sort of the ship steady again, what do we need to do to make sure that our employees are looked after, you know, their mental health is, is being taken care of and, um, and what do they need from us? Like, do they have the right technology in place? We've sort of shoehorned everything really quickly and everybody had to just take a laptop home where they could and start working from home. But do, are they set up now to, to do this long term if they need to? Um, and then I think it moved from there into sort of looking toward the future, you know, as, as countries started to come out of lockdown in the summer, I think everybody was sort of saying, right, we sort of see an end in sight. And, you know, probably at that point, we still believe that we weren't going to have to go back into another lockdown. Um, and I think people were saying like, right, how do we prepare for the future now? Can we start looking at launching brands again or launching products? Should we see this as an, as an opportunity to do things or do we need to just kind of stay, sort of stay back in the background and just say like, right, maybe this is not the time for them. We should just kind of keep things moving for moving as they are until everything goes back to normal and then kick things off again. Um, and it was sort of trying to traverse those challenges and, and understand where, what they can and can't do really to an, to an extent. Um, we saw situations where some of our clients did launch brands, but just didn't, just didn't announce it. You know, they worked on it for two years or a year or something like that, or, you know, and when they, when they, you know, they, they probably delayed the, the release of, the, of the, the brand and then eventually just said, you know what, there's no point in us trying to make a big song and dance about this because you know it's just we're first lot we're not going to cut through the noise and secondly we're just going to add to the noise so let's just launch it and then when the time comes and we can we can talk about it maybe retroactively um so yeah i think it's just really been about finding your place in the world 
um, but it only gets a new conversation. I think the the world seems to be it seems to be and has been in flux for some time now. You know, with the speed of change, with technology, with political instability, with Brexit in the UK, there's there's lots of macro challenges going on in the world right now. And COVID is just, albeit a, a huge one, but it's another one. Um, and I think brands have been trying to figure out how to get through these. Uh, and COVID has just really expedited how how brands tackle these challenges, really.